Well, the sun has been shining brightly all day. Good to see that continuing as we get ready for the match here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. And they need to get tighter here. And a very good challenge. Now showing excellent vision. And she just made her move into an illegal position. So offside the verdict. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And you don't want to lose possession there. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And there she is in with a chance. Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal, the first of the contest. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Now, what can they produce on the flank? This could square the game. Well, what a stop that was. And now the delivery. Good tackle taken away. Little. Arsenal have given it away. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, they've done it. A goal for Chelsea who've got themselves on level terms.
Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Chelsea will get the throw in. Good technique displayed. Can't miss, surely! Into the goalkeeper's grateful clutches. She won't be complaining about that. And beyond the last defender, offside. Arsenal have given it away. Went in strongly, decisively. Oh, good vision. Well, we could have made that decision from up here on the commentary box. Now Chelsea showing good width. Can she connect with a teammate? Big chance! Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. And there's the delivery. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Millie Bright. Good visualisation and execution. And a chance to whip it in here. Over it comes. Just over the top in the end. Meet him up. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Opportunity in the wide area. And a good take under duress there. And a fine tackle. The fans in favour of the shot here. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, as a play it goes, and that was in no small measure due to the effect of press.
Good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. But really sticking to the task defensively. Fran Kirby. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Has a go. And the keeper there to deal with it. And over comes the corner. Pressing high to win the ball. Could be. Oh, they've done it. A goal for Chelsea who've got themselves on level terms. Well, here it is again, and you can't lose possession in those areas. She must be more aware of the danger there. That's not good play at all. So underway again at 2 all. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And a decent delivery, and you need your defender to take charge. Now the pass not finding its target. Brighton. This might have potential. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Promising looking ball. And unable to keep the ball. And now waiting to pounce. It has to be, surely. And that is textbook goalkeeping. Well, she made it look so difficult for the striker. That's a really good stop from the keeper. Great positioning. Corner kick played in. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football. Chances for both teams and plenty to enjoy it. Let's hope for more of the same. Very quick thinking there. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And it's gone over the line. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, no luck keeping possession. take the lead here was a save and the counter looks on here options available well a judge to have been in an offside position she got the timing wrong then and a Chelsea throw in coming up here and in the perfect position to read it can they nudge in front late on here? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. That's very effective, good high pressing. And now passing it through. And the decision is offside. A lack of awareness that time, maybe. Well, a lack of awareness or slightly selfish. I'm not sure. In the right place to cut out the pass. Chance to run at them. Can they make the connection here? Can they forge ahead? And it goes! And it might be the goal that gives them the bragging rights. Huge drama here late on. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. 
The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. This could level it. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. So the final whistle and Chelsea take nothing at all from this fixture. What did you make of it? Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on.